Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. Thank you so much for 50,000 subscribers, this is really a big achievement for me. A guy in the comments asked me yesterday. How can this robotic voice channel get 50,000 subscribers? Let me know in the comment, what should I tell him? Anyway, today we are going to create this. Last week, I have talked about my new website. Many people asked, how I made it. The answer is very simple, I made it using Wix.com. Wix.com is the best way to create a website. This is much easier than hiring a web developer, and telling him what design you want for your website. You can simply do it by your own. Everything is customizable. I don't even type a single line of code. And that makes it more fun, and creative. You can create anything. Start with a blank project, or just simply edit the pre-made templates. They have hundreds of templates, but the freedom of editing them is unlimited. I made my website from scratch. I have used a blank template, so that I can give it my own look. Change anything you want. I have created a custom color design for my contact form, to make sure it suits with my idea. Instead of using a flat color, I have used a picture background. Change its opacity, or keep it parallax or freeze, as you want. Change your slider image. Upload your own images, or select free images from Wix. Every best option for creating a stunning website is here. The website you create here is responsive, that means, you can open it on any device you want, and it will fit perfectly. With the Wix.com, you can create anything you want, and manage your website just by a drag and drop. See, how simple it is. So, if you are looking for a new website, you can try it with the Wix.com. Check the link in the description, let's get back to the tutorial. Open After Effects and create a new composition. We will call it Cinematic Logo Intro. I am using the same 1920 by 1080 resolution. You are free to make it in 4K or 8K. You can always turn off and on these transparency grids, by clicking on this icon. Let's create a new solid for the background. I am using a dark grey color for our background. You are free to use any background image you want. Perfect. Let's add your logo. I am using this dragon logo, which I have downloaded from the Bing images. Place this logo file on above the background layer. Please note, my logo is in PNG format, that means I don't have any background, just only my logo. Now go to the effects and presets, and search for the CC light sweep. Add this effect onto your logo, and then your logo will have this light shade effect. If you drag this anchor point, you can actually see, it's reacting with your logo. But it is not exactly the same as we want. So let's change few settings. Change light reception to the cutout and width to 200. Now, our logo is just showing through this light. Just like we make it using track mat. Let's change edge thickness to 2 points. Perfect. Now we are going to animate it. Make sure you are at the first frame. And then, change this anchor point to something like here, so that our logo will disappear. Now add a keyframe on the center, and then, go to the fifth frame, and drag its center position to the right. Make sure your logo should not be visible at this point. Cool, here you can see our animation is complete. 
Now select your logo layer and press U to open keyframes. Select both keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Now open graph editor, and change these curved position to something like this. These curves control the speed smoothness of our animation. In case you don't like your animation speed, you can change it, by adjusting these curves. Ramp preview this, and you will know what I am saying. In my case, my animation is faster than I need. So I am changing the last keyframe position to the right. It will increase the speed of my animation. Perfect. This is what I am looking for. Switch back to our normal timeline. Now, if you can see, our logo is very flat looking, it doesn't have any kind of texture to it. So we are going to apply a texture here. You can download this file from the link in the description. Place it anywhere on your timeline, and then hide it. Now select your dragon file, then go to the effects and presets. Search here for the texturize effect, and then double click on it to apply it on your logo layer. Change the texture layer to our texture file. And now you can see that, we have a texture on our logo. Change texture contrast to 2 and change light direction to 175 degree. Also, I am changing my edge thickness to a lower number, so that it won't look too harsh. Perfect. Our animation is almost complete. Let's add a zoom out effect to our logo. Select your logo layer, and press S. Click on the stopwatch icon to add a keyframe, and then go to around 7 seconds, and change your scale value to 80%. Select both keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Open graph editor, and change your curve to something like this. Perfect. Now switch back again to your timeline. And here you will see our animation is working. Cool. Now the final step. We are going to add some particles to our scene. Create a new solid, and let's call it particles. You are free to use any color for this. Now go to the effects and presets, and search for the CC snowfall effect. Double click to apply it on your layer, and then adjust few values. Change size to 15, and flakes to 200. Now these particles will look like this. Change its color to some fire looking orange color. Perfect. Now we are changing its blending mode. If you don't see your blending tab here, press F4 to switch between. And then change its mode to lighten. Perfect. Now RAM preview this and start using it for your intros. For downloading the sound effects, please check the description. I will see you next week. Have a good day.